This is DollarFix DF8. So DollarFix is same brand like Mucar. This is very similar scanner to Mucar V08. So same like V08, you have same case with adapters for older vehicles. And then it comes with three lifetime updates and about 34 service resets. It's also bidirectional, has ECU coding. So basically everything you would need from scan to less DIY mechanic. So let me plug it in and I will show you it in action. For demonstration, I will be using my old Alpha 147. So let me hop inside, plug it in OBD2 port. So this is Bluetooth. You only have to plug in dongle and then you can use scan tool. This scan tool actually has auto scan, but since Alpha is old, I have to go manually and select car make. So I will go to this list of car brands and select Alpha Romeo. Now choose model 147 and we can go ahead and do held report. So this will go over all control modules and it will find all fault codes in my car. How long this scan takes? This is dependent on which car you're scanning, but usually it is about 2-3 minutes for most cars. If you have some new car it might be faster. For this alpha it's about 2-3 minutes. And now we got alpha scanned. We have a lot of fault codes. There is actually 41 DTCs. So 41 fault codes, that's a lot. But I know this alpha has a lot of issues and I also drained battery. So when you drain battery, you will get some more fault codes, which are not relevant. And with fault codes, you can do full diagnostic report. You can even edit shop information. You can edit car information, even put customer information and generate these professional looking PDF reports of scanned car. And then you can either send it by email or by Bluetooth. And now if I go back to this list of control modules, we can choose some individual control module, for example, this body computer. And in every module, you can read module information. You can read fault codes just for that module. You can even Google specific fault codes. So next to each code, you have this Google button. You can just press this and it will search this exact fault code for your car in Google. Then you can clear fault codes just for one module. So now I'm clearing fault codes only for body module. You can read live data. You can either choose which data parameters you want to look at. Like I chose these three right now. You can also display them in graphs, either separate graphs up to 12 graphs. I will show you that later when we will be checking live data in engine module. And then you can also select whole page. So you will see all live data for this module. And then you also can do bidirectional tests. For example, I can test my low beams. I can do high beams. I can test my turn signal, second turn signal. So every control module will have different bidirectional tests. For example, if I switch to engine, check this out now, I have completely different set of tests, this time for engine module. So for example, I can test my engine fan or AC compressor relay. EGR valve, fuel pump relay, every control module has its separate own tests only for that control module. And then let me show you live data one more time for engine. I will do select page, so these are all data from engine. But what we can do, we can go into this graph mode. And now here I can watch up to 12 different live data graphs at once. And I can even record this data. So if we are diagnosing some faults, you can record data and then you will review it later. Or you can give it to AI to review it for you. Then in every control module, you will also have special functions. So these are service resets or service procedures. If I go to engine, I can see coding for injectors and that will be specific for every control module. So if I change module, for example, let's go to instrument cluster module special functions and now I will have different special functions for example odometer reset, odometer write and stuff about my odometer. Or then if you go back to that first screen you can use all system special common features and this will scan every module and it will tell you if it's got some service resets you can use on this connected car. See now when the scan is finished it will tell me which control module has no special functions and which does but I need to go inside manually to use them. Or if you go back, you can just use these common special functions. So these are commonly used for this car. Now you also might be interested about languages. So these are all supported languages you can use. And then these are all service resets you can use. But of course they must be supported by car itself. And yeah, so this is pretty good scanner. I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out, read more details. But it is very similar to ThinkScan 689 or MuCar 89 to Bluetooth, MuCar V08. It is basically same brand and all Finkermucar scanners 
comes pretty good so I would recommend buying this one. If you want new OBD2 scanner but you don't know which one is the best, go to my website OBD2 scanner guide. It is linked in the description and there you can filter best OBD2 scanners by car brands, type or features you need. And all this I made after years of testing hundreds of different OBD2 scanners. And if you are even unsure which OBD2 scanner type is for you, you can download my free PDF and that will explain differences and help you understand which scanner is for you.